Hello, and welcome to another week at the bungalow. This week, upstairs sockets, bedrooms one and two. As you can tell, we're pushing quite hard to try and get these two rooms done, and the downstairs bedroom three. So when we first put up the plasterboard and we had the cabling in, temporarily put into place, not particularly at the correct height, just roughly in the right location. So first job, round to all of the, where all the cables are coming through and mark up the correct height at 450. All double sockets going in, snazzy ones with a chrome front. And we've got several of the ones in the bedrooms are going to have the USB charging capability as well. So don't have to take up valuable sockets with lots of uh, power bricks or if you want to call them. So either side of the bed and over where we're, we're going to put the desk are going to have USB in there as well. So cutting through the plasterboard, found that the multi-tool was the easiest, goes through like butter. Also get nice square corners and square edges. And you can use one of those rough cut saws for the plasterboard, but when it's this sort of thing, relatively detailed. Can't really beat the uh, multi-tool. So through the plasterboard, through the insulation, there's obviously another layer of 100mm insulation behind that. And then pushing the cable back into the hole and out through the newly made socket hole. We're going round afterwards and patching up all these holes where the cables came through. Some were easier said than done. Once the cable's thrown in the right place, back box threaded on, then clipped into place, pushing the two wing type bits either side of the glass ball, going nicely into the insulation, so no real issues there. And working the way round. So, this is a high level one, this is for the TV going up on the wall so there's a TV cable or the aerial cable as, as well as the power and there you can see where we've exposed it just threading the aerial back out so all the cables run on top of the 100mm and below the 25 mil. Just then, so if anybody is using fixings to go into the wall, keeps cables away from it. Quite like these jobs, a bit different. Slightly more interesting, have to think about it a bit more. The flooring's great. You can just mill along doing it, especially when there's two of you having a nice chat. But do like doing a bit of electrical work, makes a change. Not so much the responsibility of it all having to work and do something. So flying through the process here with light switch. 120 off the ground, about 300 out from the door frame. There we go. Nice and neat, ready for their socket fronts. So as you can tell, using the laser level to get all of the sockets in the rooms absolutely spot on and then swapping over to the spirit level to mark out the individual boxes ok 
careful not to drop the plasterboard inside. This one's one of the bathroom walls, so we've got the internal rock wall rather than the rigid foam insulation. The same situation, just poking the cable through and then threading it up to where it needs to be. Box on, jobs are good. Nice and easy. So this is one of the ones in the solid wall. A little bit lower than it should be, as you can tell by the uh, laser line. But unfortunately, it's where the cable ended up. This is in one of the walk-in wardrobes, so I'm not quite so worried about it. But it's in a solid wall, so we're having to knock it out. Went round with the multi-tool still, because it's that, because the old clinker blocks. So relatively soft, not as nice to cut as the lightweight blocks, but nevertheless, it's still pretty biscuity, as Claire likes to call it. So knocking that out to get the box in place. Using one of the metal back boxes. And jobs are good. So flying through bedroom two, cutting all the holes. And then you can see the bedroom two nicely plastered out, sockets in place, and again bedroom one, still waiting for a bit of the plaster to dry, especially the solid bits around the chimney etc. High level of socket and aerial for the TVs, we've got exactly the same going in both rooms. Almost identical places. And then back into bedroom two for the final look round. As that brings us to the end of another week, I thank you very much for watching and we'll see you again on the next one.